Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll talk about synapses. So, uh, first, the synapse is defined as the site between the terminal aberrations of the axon of one neuron and the dendrites of the following neuron. For example, if we have a neuron like that, and this is the following neuron, So this gap here between the two neurons is called a synapse. Now we have three types of synapses. A synapse between two neurons, as we can see, or between a neuron and a glandular cell, or between a neuron and a muscle fiber, as neurons connect between each other, and they are also connected to glandular cells and to muscle fibers. Now let's see how does the uh, nerve impulse move from one neuron to another through the synapse. Now the outer structure or the fine structure of the synapse reveals that the terminal branches of the axon ends with swellings called buttons and these are very close to the dendrites of the next neuron and in between there is a very narrow space which is called the synaptic cleft. This cleft separates the axon from the dendrites. The axon is called a presynaptic membrane, while the dendrite is called a postsynaptic membrane. And the synaptic button contains small vesicles, which are called synaptic vesicles. And these are filled with chemical transmitters as acetylcholine and noradrenaline, which plays an important role in the synaptic transmission of the nerve impulse from one neuron to the next. Now let's see how is the nerve impulse transmitted from one neuron to another. So when the nerve impulse arrives to the buttons, it leads to the entrance of calcium ions which are found um, outside the button through the opening of the calcium channel. So, this is called the calcium bump. The inflow of calcium inside the button leads to the rupture of the synaptic vesicles. And so, the chemical transmitters move outside the synaptic vesicles and they are released. Next, the chemical transmitters cross the synaptic cleft and reach the membrane of the dendrites of the next neuron. So, on the membrane of the dendrites, there are special receptors and these accept the following um, neurotransmitters, the chemical transmitters, leading to the stimulation of these points and changing the permeability of the membrane uh, of sodium and potassium ions. And this leads to um, inversing the concentration of negative and positive ions as we knew from previous uh, videos. So, this results in depolarization and reduction of the action potential. So, the nerve impulse is propagated through the cell body, then to the axon of the neuron, and then to the next synapse, and so on. After the function is finished, the acetylcholine is destroyed under the effect of an enzyme called the cholesterinase to terminate its action. And after that, the postsynaptic membrane, or the dendrite, returns to the resting state again so that negative ions became concentrated on the inside and positive ions on the outside. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check the other videos on edu4free.net.